And it is now hour three of 24 Terrible Hours. Hour three is uh, when I started drinking. Um, <laughs> Good job. <laughs> so I've got a Harmony Farm Lakes, and I don't know, brewed somewhere in Minnesota. What's the ABV? 5.8. That's a bit early for a 5.8, but uh, <laughs> it's fine. It's all fine. I've got Gulf uh, Ontario tap a... water. <laughs> that's the same. That's the same rating I'd give this stream so far. Ooh, Ooh. out of out of wait, out of a possible five point eight though. So that's a compliment. Ooh. <laughs> sure, take it that way. I got a surly extra citra. Um, okay. <laughs> oh shit, we're so close to eight hundred. We're so close to eight hundred. Um, tell Boots to turn his mic volume down. Oh, am I still too loud? Thanks, Owlfly. We will. Okay. Uh, turn it uh, down. Let me know how it is after I turn it down. It's down now. All right. Uh, yeah. So uh, this uh, this is uh, hour three. We've got uh, Booth Ranger. We've got Lemon. We've got Nutshell Gulag. We've got Stog. Hello. Yay! We've got, and we've got John Toast. And uh, Hi. yay! Even also, though she yay. wasn't even even though she wasn't even scheduled for this time, uh, Portex is back uh, with some more drawings. So. Um, <laughs> So F plus, it's now uh, it's now the third hour, and I think that it's probably time for some stupid ideas, wouldn't you say? I've got all of those ideas. <laughs> Lay them on me. It's true, you do. Um, I have a ton. So the this is a uh, first time submitter, uh, Morris Rattus, uh, gave us this document. It is called Ooh. Idea Dash. Um, I need more rats in my apartment. <laughs> <laughs> the uh, Morris. Do Moore's you do you not have enough yet? <laughs> no, not enough. Okay. Uh, site idea dash. Uh, there's some very smart monkeys, uh, so that's very encouraging. Uh, I'm just gonna. I'm I'm Eric Martin, and I'm the founder and CEO of Idea Dash. And welcome to Idea Dash. We're a platform for people who have great ideas but don't have the time or resources to implement them. Oh, I <laughs> you know you. what? Fuck that. That's a good enough. <laughs> <laughs> this seems oddly familiar. <laughs> <laughs> I oh, think fuck. that pretty well explains what's going on here. Um, oh, uh, we gotta we gotta get umbopped. Oh, oh all right. Yeah. And that's because Hanson gave us ten dollars. Yeah, I love uh, you, Hanson. Thanks, Hanson. <clears throat> okay, I'll get ready for it. Got it on, boots. Uh, yes, and uh, three, two, one. Now Oh my god. That was aggressive mbopping. Stream and Jay Hawkins mbop version. I put a bop on you. I put a bop on you. Uh, so we're going to start uh, this idea dash document out with Zane Isaac Hoffman. And uh, Boots, why don't you tell me about your idea, please? Sure. I'll tell you all about my idea. Uh, wait. <laughs> it's pretty well thought out. <laughs> okay. Here's my idea. Uh, yep. My idea is called Idea Dash by Zane Isaac Hoffman. This would be a community where people can explore and promote their ideas for monetary gain. Yay! <laughs> okay. Um, it's got 6.5 graph icons, uh, zero dollars, <laughs> and zero people icons. Uh, but I could share it on uh, Twitter, Facebook, or email if I wanted. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. That's what I'm going to do right now. Well, tell me a little bit about your great idea. Sure. Have you ever had an idea but just didn't know how to implement it or show it off to the world? Well, wait a minute. Hmm? What? Well, what? Idea Dash is the solution to your problem. Using well, this great site, you can post ideas and allow well, people to rate them, and even provide whoa. funds to potentially make those dreams a reality. Whoa. <laughs> whoa. The walls are moving right now. Holy shit. Mm. An idea I'd like, where to, you I'd like to hear a little bit more about the founder of Idea Dash, Eric Martin. Oh, uh, you want to hear a little bit about him? Uh, well, let's see. Uh, Eric founded Idea Dash so that anyone with an idea has the opportunity to make money from the idea and the opportunity to benefit with others with the idea. Uh, he has a wife, Melody, and two daughters. Uh, previously, Eric and Melody created a card game for kids called Animal Herders. Uh, in 2015, he won Jet.com's, you know, that site that's doing really well, Jet.com, a uh, nationwide marketing competition called Jet Insider. Uh, this first place won it. 
out of over 350,000 insiders by getting over 8,000 people to sign up to well, for Well, sure, but, like, I want to know, like, what's his favorite animal and stuff. Oh, well, turkey vultures are Eric's favorite animal. Okay. <laughs> Those are pretty cute. Those are pretty good. No, from a startup. Uh, Stog, do you have anything? Do I have anything? Oh, yeah, I've got this great idea you should all look, look at. My name is Amit Deep. <laughs> That's probably how the name is. So Amit Deep will put your ass to sleep. <laughs> yep. So Amit Deep will put your ass to sleep. Um, my idea is called Mimium. Oh, God. Burn it! No. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Hold out. Hear me out first. This is a premium streaming service <laughs> for no. quality controlled, 100% no. original no. memes. No! <laughs> May -may. Quality no. memes. Only, only cleansing fire can make this better. <laughs> I got six. I got six point eighteen uh, business boners, but I don't have any money in the bank, and I currently do not have any people watching my stream. Oh. <laughs> anyway, here's Good. my idea. Check your server. I think. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> have you been scrolling 4chan, Reddit, or Nine Gag, and You're noticed a terrible a person? <laughs> <laughs> Ma'am, please, I let me get to the end of my idea before no! you... St <laughs> no! Nutshell's just hating on alphas, that's all. <laughs> I'm completely alpha, I'm so alpha and beta. Um, have you noticed... Um, have you been scrolling 4chan, Reddit, 9gag, and noticed the deterioration of meme quality? No, well, yeah, it's, not, it's, yeah it's, it's, it's not the first thing I noticed. <laughs> <laughs> after, I, after I called the police, then I noticed it. <laughs> Rather... <laughs> As the internet grows older and more saturated, memes are losing their freshness. With Memeium, there will be a high quality team of memeers creating oh. original memes. Oh. <laughs> Whether you like your memes, crib, creamy, or spicy. Ew! Uh, ew. <laughs> ew. Uh, ew. <laughs> Mimia will track your meme taste, making sure your favorite memes are easily accessible and easy to consume. Oh, I'm going to find I, where you live. I think I had an uncle who went to the hospital for a creamy meme. <laughs> <laughs> He's alright now. Meme streaming is the way of the future, and I think a company like Memeium will kickstart the meme revolution. No. <laughs> Thank you. No. Uh, okay, next up. Uh... Uh, before we do that, I'd like to make oh, an yeah. announcement. Okay, what's yeah. that? Is that um, we've got a donation incentive. I don't know what oh, the amount what? for that Ooh. is. Uh, if, if Lemon has an idea for that. All right, uh, all right, all right. Uh, but Frank West has uh, has volunteered uh, to um, to play a video game. Uh, Yay! Uh, I know, it's a tough job. Somebody's got to do it. I know, I know. It's... I love video game. <laughs> it's hard. But uh, Frank West, tell, tell us about the game you found. It's a game called Red Lake. And I chose it over the other options I had because it went on sale for 50 cents today. <laughs> <laughs> it's probably really good then. And um, it's very bad. I think Stog played it once. And as far as I can tell, it is hard and terrible enough that no one has bothered to beat it. Yay! So I don't know if anybody has ever beaten it. <laughs> Apparently <laughs> autosave just stops working. So oh, at a boy. certain point, I'll just have to start from scratch every time I die. Uh, yeah, so so we're gonna make him play that um, until he either beats it or or you know, kills himself. Uh, yeah, yes. so uh, the goal uh, is active at uh, one thousand uh, dollars. We we will be doing a picture in picture um, <laughs> with <laughs> oh, no. playing uh, this really really ugly looking game. <laughs> yeah, we'll, be, we'll be checking in on him from time to time. We'll be checking it in sounds, on him. Really, it sounds like really good and his mental health. And now back to Frank with the game. Frank, how you doing? I hate this. <laughs> Kill me. Anyway, uh, so John Toast, uh, uh -huh. you got an idea here. Um, if you will tell me about your uh, chat room idea, please. <laughs> oh, that's a good name. Mm -hmm. uh, yes, I have an idea I'd like to share. My name is Vodzchek. <laughs> Vodzchek. Yeah, lots of extended ASCII in your name. 
And I have the idea of the Turing Test Chat Room. Ugh. Oh, good. Oh, a, place, a place where different AIs compete to make people think they are human, and humans compete to make people think they are robots. <laughs> well, I mean, okay, this actually has existed as, a, as like a programming jam before, but that's fine. When will somebody turn Philip K. Dick into a video game? I mean, come on. You mean like actually Philip K. Dick, like his body? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I have 6.67 graphs. I have zero dollar signs, zero people, and nobody shared me. Today's chatbots have a long way to go before they're able to consistently fool people. But what about an environment where everyone pretends to be a robot? <laughs> okay, okay. Sounds mm. great. Mm -hmm. Beep boop. I am a robot too, fellow robot. <laughs> Can people converse in a convincingly broken manner? <laughs> just like I just did, uh, yes. Yeah. <laughs> Can the AI creators exploit small cues people unwittingly make that reveal their nature? Can robots have bad grammar too? Uh, Let's find out. Uh, I just, okay, okay. Yep. Both the AIs and the people playing will have to learn and master new strategies as the meta changes. Oh, Jesus. Oh, getting a bit ahead of yourself, are we? Already thinking about your meta. <laughs> <laughs> when you've got oh, a page, God. When you got a page that nobody in the world has seen. All right. <laughs> this obviously won't lead to a revolution in chatbot technology, but oh. it will give us something fun to play with, and chatbot creators are interesting. Uh, chatbot creators an interesting challenge. Uh, Zero yeah. comments. <laughs> I, can't I wonder what, like, like, what, because because it says in the beginning there that, like, that, like, you're sharing on the profit of this idea like i'm, I'm confused at what the profit incentive here would be <laughs> again uh, you can that, uh boots you work in academia is that right hello boots, boots. 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 oh no oh, no we boots. Lost boots. okay guys we can just edit this later okay so. uh, uh, audio. Uh, my mic isn't working uh. <laughs> it's okay we'll fix it in post <laughs> oh wait what awesome uh, yeah, no, but I'm, my name isn't Boots, I'm Sean Conn. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Sean Conn. Sean Conn. Um, anyway, uh, I've got a research participant platform. Uh, a research participant platform is a mobile app slash website that connects el eligible research participants in the area of researchers. This would be a tool for those looking to make money and for researchers to gather study participants. Uh, excuse me, Mr. Sean Khan. I uh -huh. think we have something like that already. It's called Amazon Mechanical Turk. What? Yep. Well, I've got but an 8 out of 10 idea. Congratulations. And you're the first to actually have any money on this. You've yeah, got one dollar. One dollar. You, you could buy a soda with that dollar. Uh, everywhere on university camp campuses, there are several paper flyers fruitlessly attempting to collect research participants. <laughs> just the paper flyers walking around like why does nobody want to research <laughs> Aww. nobody's ever created like online surveys yeah. <laughs> wall tricks doesn't exist uh, the offer quite large oh no that is what that says the offer quite large monetary incentives like ten dollars per hour <laughs> that's quite large incentive uh, but they do not appeal to university students Meanwhile, individuals who would benefit from that type of money are usually unaware of these opportunities. This app would help single moms and the unemployed earn money and work towards becoming financially independent by serving as participants for studies they are interested in. Oh, Jesus. Ooh. Wow. The app would require <laughs> individuals to make an account with their biographical information, and this would match with study profiles in the geographical area. Hopefully your biographical information is narrated by Ken Burns. Hmm. <laughs> it has been a fortnight since I participated in research. <laughs> uh, hey, Nutshell Gulag. Yes? You're interested in solving world hunger, right? I'm interested in eating, so sure. Okay, good. So uh, we're going to solve world hunger with apps, which is like the, the <laughs> most... <laughs> <laughs> most Silicon Valley thing I've ever heard in my life. Uh, I gotta say, it's a step above hugs. <laughs> Fuck. Yikes. Hey, Dicky Billy. <laughs> Try a little bullshit. Okay. 
Yes. Hi, I'm Reuben Brackman, and my, my idea is called Smart Eating. People can sell their leftovers to others for low prices. Ooh. Fuck you. you. <laughs> the leftovers are the best part! Hmm. Oh my oh god. god! You Holy fucking... shit! Ah! Ah! Okay, anyway. Um, oh my. This is the app. You can sell leftover food to people in your neighborhood. This could be useful for students, homeless people, or if you just don't want to cook tonight and have a cheap meal. <laughs> Hi, I got like a 70, 17 baby carrots. Can I sell them to you for $5? I've got the piece of pizza that my roommate put his cigarette out on, but it's fine otherwise. So, you know, I mean, if you want it. I got some leftover air. I'm a breatharian, by the way. Would you like some? <laughs> <laughs> My wife bought these juicy red things, and I think they taste gross. Um, I want I want to get rid of them for ten dollars, please. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay, so that's the idea. That's it. That's all. That's it. Smart that's eating. All. Yep. It's a good idea. Uh, Lemon, Sell your leftovers. Lemon's lost his headphones or something. <laughs> so, oh no. Uh, oh god. Uh, uh, toes find something. Oh uh, no. Uh, 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 ah! shit, I haven't been looking. Ah! Okay, okay. Here. Ah! I just randomly grabbed something and pasted it in. Read it. <laughs> oh god! Oh god! We're, oh, alive. Okay. We're ruining okay. everything. This is pretty good. Okay. Okay. Everybody. Everybody. Everybody, everybody, calm okay, everybody. Okay. everybody calm on. Okay. Everybody. Everybody calm. Okay. 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 Good. Because I want to make Star Wars a reality. <laughs> Fuck yeah! Oh my goodness. Yes, please. My name is Zane Isaac Hoffman. Guess who I'm going to assassinate and win a prize? <laughs> See, I got three names. Anyways, <laughs> here's my entire uh, byline Star Wars in real life. That's it. Awesome. <laughs> oh, hey, guys. Hey, guys. What? The, yeah. the graph? I've got 3.14 graphs. Yeah. <laughs> so that's, so that's oh, a oh, pie shit. graph. Oh. <laughs> Oh. I'm gonna Look get this cream. All right. Well, thanks for showing up, John Toast. <laughs> All right. Goodbye. No. <laughs> All right. Whether or not you enjoyed Star Wars the Seventh, The Force Awakens, there is no denying that it would be awesome to live in the Star Wars universe. No. Just one. think of the possibilities. Ah. Mm -hmm. You can no. hone your Force sensitivity and train with Luke Skywalker. No one. No. <laughs> You could be a, you could be a trash technician aboard the Death Star right before it gets blown up. You could hold out your hand and not move anything and bug Mark Hamill. Uh, yeah, you could die in the desert. Yeah, you could be the giant skeleton in the desert forever and ever. Yay! You could be a smuggler and fly alongside Han Solo and Chewie and the Falcon. Nope. Let's make this happen and may the Force that be with you, my dear. Competition Absolutely and you get shot in the face by Chewie and Han. <laughs> <laughs> that's, a, that's a lovely try. <laughs> look, look at that! It's Star Wars in real life. <laughs> I'm in Star Wars. My life is Star Wars. Why would you like me, uh, Stock? What did you just find? <laughs> you found something. I'm, is that right? Ah, uh, yes, yes. My name is James uh, Gierke, nice. and I've invented a. I have an idea for a uh, automatic hot vehicle sensor to prevent death. Okay. In vehicle monitor <laughs> that senses biometric data, heartbeat, and temperature of vehicle interior, then auto rolls windows down when temps over 100 deg. <laughs> deg. Used to prevent hot car childhood pet deaths. Uh huh. So Maybe I a, got... hold, a holding temperature of 99 degrees is just fine. <laughs> <laughs> so I got uh I got 800 I 8.57 uh. Graph boners. I actually have six dollars. Suck it, dudes. Fuck <laughs> on these six dollars. <laughs> Holy That's shit. So wow, this is the That's best the guy best in the thing. thing. Yeah. Do you need on... seminars on Idea Dash? Suck on this Lincoln and this Washington. I've also got one person on my stream, and you can share it anytime you like. Cool. Cool. Yeah. Uh, hey, guys, would you like to hear about Chargy? Chargy? Okay. Oh, it sounds like you do want to hear about Chargy. Great. Okay, so I really want to hear about Chargy. Chargy is a amorphous device created to help with loose chargers and charger holes. 
Okay. Huh? So uh -huh. how many how many times were you struggling with your charger because after a long time it became loose and you had to find just the right spot or angle and hold it like that just to get your phone charging. This how sounds like a metaphor for Are something. Are you talking about your dick, sir? Not yet, not yet, but soon. <laughs> Give it time. <laughs> we'll get there. How many times you woke up in the morning just to find out your phone had the same battery level as you left it at night only because the charger plug was loose? How many chargers you charged your charger? Woo. Ooh. How many chargers you <laughs> charged your charger only because you stepped on slash drop slash push the plug too hard? <laughs> Say... <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, love, I love the eyeballs, Vortex. That's great. <laughs> hey, I'm charging the charger. How oh you doing? God, that's so that's a charger that saw, just saw a pretty lady and went, Awooga! <laughs> hey, sugar tits, come here! <laughs> um, uh, but okay, so say goodbye to all of those problems. With Chargy, a device created to help you with the charging of your electronic <laughs> devices. Just take it up, just take it out, stuff it inside the charging hole, put it <laughs> in the plug, and you're Stick go. this in your charging hole! <laughs> oh, 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 yeah. Oh. <laughs> hey, kids, it's me, Chargy! <laughs> Um, <laughs> uh, your charger is as good as new again. All right. So the idea behind this is that you would have these small packages of amorphous plasticine-like, just a tiny bit more fluid. You can check slimy gel for reference on how it should slash could look. Electricity conduct, conduct conducive material that you could stuff into the charging hole of your phone slash laptop slash tablet, and then you could stick your normally loose, broken charger into it, and you could charge your way without having to worry about the plug and the charger hole contacts not completing the circuit. That sounds like a great <laughs> idea, and I don't see anything that could go wrong. Yeah, no, put, put Silly Putty into your phone hazards. and then electrocute it. <laughs> <laughs> I really, I really want to be a fly on the wall when somebody goes to like get the insurance on their phone and has to explain this. It's like, why is this covered in like silly putty? It's like, well, funny story. Have you ever heard of Idea Dash? <laughs> I can't wait for this guy to go on Shark Tank and explain this. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, I'm sorry, I was looking at a weed startup while you guys were talking. <laughs> um, uh, okay, after you collect your device, you could just collect Chargy from the charging hole and use it for another device. I believe this idea has a lot of potential because it would all have help a lot of people save money. Chargy, I don't know why this in quotes every time, could be used multiple times on different devices. It would also be good for the environment because it would reduce the consumption of chargers. In 21 years of my life, I already had to change like four or five chargers just because the plug came loose. I'm glad I have the chance to share my idea and hopefully I can make it public. Thanks! Yay! Yay. Uh, All right, well, good luck with your plug jizz there. <laughs> <laughs> Why did they call it plug jizz? <laughs> plug jizz. It's me, Chargy. I know what you did. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> you know, Ew, why does my charger have veins on it? <laughs> you know, when I woke up today, I didn't think, I'm going to see an ambulatory <laughs> really? plug with uh, bloodshot <laughs> eyes. <laughs> That's what happened. <laughs> it's rabid, too. <laughs> no. I love that. That's my dreams. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, so, unfortunately, uh, I have an I have an idea here that has uh, been scrubbed from uh, Idea Dash, uh, but um, Mors Ratus has uh, preserved it. So, uh, Boots. Yes. Uh, you got an idea that you want to talk about here, and uh, please do. Okay. Oh, the, the, does my idea have a name? Uh, so we need a probably. sex number to us. Okay. Well, I think it's probably called Weed Spot. A weed Spot. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Okay. Ow. Have you ever been in the situation where you can't smoke any of your friends? So can't smoke at any of your friends? <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> hmm, that's weird. You can't smoke at <laughs> oh, any of your friends. Good. Smoke your friends. Uh, houses, uh, and therefore decides <laughs> to smoke outside. You would be with Weed Spot be able to look at a map of your area and see yep. where the best and most beautiful weed spots are located. 
like at the police station. Beautiful weed spot. <laughs> the most beautiful, beautiful weed, spot. weed spot. But what if I want to trade my weed? Is there a weed gym? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> make a make a narc's life easy. <laughs> Spent all night hey. battling at the local weed gym. <laughs> hey kids, you want to go to the weed spot? It's where they get the best weed. <laughs> when you when you open the app, it pops up a little dialog box. It says, "Are you a cop? You have to tell me if you're a cop. <laughs> <laughs> you're legally obliged to tell me if you're a cop." Um, yeah, you'd be able to post your own spots. A weed spot doesn't have to be public. If you know oh, a spot, good. you don't want any other people to find. Just make it private. And then, yeah, stupid. Well, then how does anyone find your weed spot if it's private? Uh, it's it's it isn't. It's just a reminder to you because you're so addled from all your weed consumption that you can't remember where it is. Makes sense. Makes sense. Yeah. Uh, the app would also allow you to invite friends to gain access to the Weed Spot location. Weed Spot would give you and others an overview of the best smoking spots all over the world and help you get out and explore areas instead of just sitting at home <laughs> smoking in your couch. How have we not combined it's weed and smoking in my like, couch? Face under the cushion. <laughs> Smokey Mon Go. Yeah. There you go. At that point. <laughs> ding. Uh, <laughs> ding. <laughs> uh, Nutshell, would you like to read about a uh, food idea? Sure. Excellent. Fantastic. Um, uh, so, uh, <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's Weed Spot. Weed Spot the dog. Aww. Aww. Oh, Weed Spot. Weed, Weed Spot's adorable. Guy. McGruff. <laughs> McGruff took him in and everything went to shit. Oh, Weed Spot. Weed Spot smells so bad, but he's such a good boy. <laughs> yep, he smells horrible, but he never fails to cheer his owners up. <laughs> okay. My. Okay. After school microwavable snack, the Mexican corn dog by oh. Joe Briggs. Okay, that oh was no, that was my nickname in high school. So the Mexican <laughs> corn dog. That's great. Oh shit, run! It's a Mexican corn dog. <laughs> <laughs> Hello there. And, and so last night I gave her the Mexican corn dog. If you know what I mean. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I really don't. I had a duper don't. Well, that's funny because. I don't think anywhere here does it actually say what the Mexican corn dog is. The Mexican corn dog on a stick. Help get this snack into the hands of every hungry school kid in America and Mexico Go to with jail. or without cheese, fried <laughs> or deep fried on a stick. <laughs> hey, the kid, recipe, you want a Mexican corn dog? The recipe has been tweaked, twerked, and perfected. All we need now is the right recipe. funding from you. And the I like it when you make that recipe vibrate. Vibrate. Twerk. <laughs> support from a few good people like you that also want to get the Mexican corn dog on shelves and ready to make it into the hands of every man, woman, and child that you can shake a stick at. <laughs> we still haven't told you what it is. It's, you can't... That's what it is. What Portex is drawing. That's adorable. <laughs> hey there. <laughs> Hola, child. Was, uh... Hola, children. Why did you tell you? <laughs> Oh, what? <laughs> Let me sing you my favorite Tejano song, and they call it Bella Noche. Hey, kids, you want to go get some cervezas? I'm thirsty. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, the uh, next idea here that belongs to uh, to you, Stog. Yes. And uh, oh my God, it's it's a luchador corn dog. I love it. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> Oh. I'm gonna kick your ass in the ring, son! The drawings are definitely it's, the best part of this whole Oh, thing. it's it's El Santo Dog. Lucha Dog. Yeah, that's my name! <laughs> Thank you, El Santo Dog. Alright, um... So my name is uh, Michael Pranger, but I read that as uh, Michael Pringle because... <laughs> I, okay. What? I'm Michael... I'm Michael <laughs> Pringle, <laughs> and <What>? I... <laughs> Why? Why are you... <laughs> Why do you read it like that? Because I'm Michael because. Pringle. What? Why? <laughs> because I'm constantly trying to think. To, I'm trying to invent something that uh, helps me get the uh, last chips out of the bottom of a Pringles can. So okay, okay. okay. Now I understand your train of thought. <laughs> anyway, I I've, I've invented a body wash slash conditioner 
slash shampoo dispenser. Wait. Ooh. Oh, it's okay. Sorry, I, th- I thought it was. It serves as both a body wash, a conditioner, and a dispenser. But no, I, I understand it's, <laughs> it's a dispenser for all three of those. So you you may continue. <laughs> This is a device that would cut down on waste created by plastic bottles used for body wash, conditioner, and shampoo. I've got 4.67 uh, business boners. Ooh. But I don't have any money, nor Guys. do I have any people. Guys. Oh. Yep, yep, yep. Yes. oh. Oh. Okay. All right. A three, two, one. We're up to $915.83 thanks to Bedingles and everyone who came before Bedingles. Thanks, Bedingles. And that means that we are uh, about $85 away from Frank West playing something that looks really, really terrible. Yay! Yay. Uh, Good luck, Frank West. You're going to need it. uh, Gideon Fox made a donation of $69. Uh-huh. Uh huh. Oh, that did he did oh, he leave a comment? Number. Yeah, the comment oh, hey, says, leave a comment? "Wish I was rich enough to afford 420." This is uh. the other funny number I'll do instead. <laughs> Love the I podcast. Wish I Keep up cool the great work. To... <laughs> yeah, thank you. Uh, Russell Pig says, uh, "Please fix the soundboard." And Russell Pig, uh, among our priorities in fixing the server, <laughs> uh, the soundboard is not on the top. <laughs> Excuse me, it's me, Michael Pringles again. Oh, uh, good. Yes, hear- you're hilarious. <laughs> Pringles joke. Yes, of course. Yeah. Uh, do you want to hear about my device some more? Yes. Yeah, sure. Okay. The, the device would be similar in design to a soda machine at a fast food restaurant, except it would be located in a grocery store or any other location where toiletries are sold, and it would dispense <laughs> different kinds of body wash. Yeah, you know, they, they do this at, like, co-op groceries and other hippie mm-hmm. stores you they can do. buy stuff in bulk what's a co-op do you just that's a complicated question Stog. do you just come straight from the shower and put your wet head under the dispenser yes. oh, I'm, gonna make a, I'm gonna make a suicide yeah totally it. i'll take some shampoo conditioner and question mark <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what. Oh, agave nectar syrup. Whoops, wrong section. (laughs) I only know what Pringles are. Anyway, this I I only know places as the places where I get Pringles. Anyway, okay. (laughs) This idea could be expanded to include lotion, hand wash, and other similar products as well. Users would select the product they want, then pay for X amount of hours of. Oz of selected product at the machine and then fill up their own pre purchased bottle to store their purchased product. No yeah. comments. Yeah. yeah. Why aren't there any comments? That's weird. What oh. if something dispensed something? <laughs> <laughs> My, uh, hi. <laughs> Hi. Uh, um, do you like Pringles? I like Pringles. Can I tell you about my d- shampoo dispenser? Ah! <laughs> <laughs> oh, stuff oh fell off the earth again. He'll <laughs> be back soon. He'll be all right. Um. Uh. So yeah, this uh this document uh, uh divided into sections. Uh, one section is called uh, "I think this will make money." <laughs> one section <laughs> is called "I have an idea, but I don't know what it is." <laughs> uh, it's uh, it's me getting shampoo. Anyway, sorry. <laughs> uh, and and this section is called technology is fucking magic. Awesome. Ooh. Uh, so uh, nutshell. Yes. Uh, why don't you tell me about this? Uh, your idea, please. My idea is tripping, and my name is Victor Ter Smitten, bringing mm. VR worlds to people that are currently in a hospital. There is also a way for special requests, so a guy with a 360 cam is going to your big family event, slash party, slash Mount Everest. Uh, can we get him to leave? Welcome to Oculus Talk. (laughs) With Trippin', you can leave your hospital room and you can see something that you always wanted to see. You can go places you always wanted to, but you're currently too weak or too old to do so. The special services are for events that you really want to attend, but it is impossible for you. 
So you can send someone, and the people on the party can interact with you. <laughs> I've got 7.22 boners, but no money and no people. <laughs> Why doesn't my son ever get married? <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> buy a, my idea is to buy a Google Cardboard for someone and then FaceTime them into a strip club. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, my name's uh, Chris El Chico de la Vida. Uh, hey, would you like to hear about travel coffee cup that brews espresso internally using refillable cartridge inside compartment to store measured amounts of coffee? Would you like to hear about that? I'd love to hear about that. Can you drop that. it on your foot? You would like to hear okay. about that? Okay. Okay, here we go. Travel cup that brews espresso internally using refillable cartridge inside compartment to store measured amounts of coffee. The end. So a Keurig. Yeah, so a Keurig. I'm done. I'm done. I'm out. <laughs> uh <-huh. laughs> wait, wait. What are the features of this product? Let me. I'll, I'm going to give you a second chance. No. Oh, uh, brew espresso and drink it anywhere. USB charger, side solar panel. Side solar panel? <laughs> Why do you have your Keurig outside? <laughs> it's a it's a mug. It's a mug. I know we I know we reference it over and over, but this really is like crazy hobo yellings. It's like, what if you had a coffee cup to make coffee? <laughs> side solar panel, USB charger. Mug separates from bottom for easy wash. <laughs> <laughs> you can take it with you when you camp. I don't know what Portex is drawing right now, but it looks like Powerhouse should be playing. I just like to point out that Piss Boy has donated four dollars and twenty cents with the message. Piss, but the S's have been replaced with dollar signs. Thank you, Piss Boy. Four twenty. Piss Boy is really the hero we deserve. I can't wait to go back through this SQL document and just search for four dollars and twenty cent donations. <laughs> oh, yeah, uh, uh, yeah, no, thank you. Uh, we're at nine hundred and twenty dollars. Uh, that's eighty dollars away from uh, our goal of making Frank West play something awful. Uh, <laughs> but uh, let's go to the reverse image shop. Uh, Boots, I think this one belongs to you. Uh, yes. Oh. Uh, hi, everybody. Hey, what's up? My Hi. name's Riley O'Brien, and I want to tell you about the reverse image shop. Okay. Uh, here's the summary. You take a photo, upload it to your app, does a reverse image search, and links to shops of where you can buy it. <laughs> Example, hey. Amazon, eBay. Excuse me, is this where you make the anime porn that I want to buy? <laughs> <laughs> uh... <laughs> Amazon, I guess. Yay. Thanks, dog. I know Dog's on hour one, by the way. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> I know reverse image search apps exist, but this is taking it to the next level. Say you're out and about, you see something cool, and you like it. Take a snap. Reverse. Oh, the, again, this voice can never last long for me. <clears throat> <laughs> uh, no, 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 no. This, this marathon is all about the wheels coming off. Keep going. <laughs> Hold on, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try. Take a snap, reverse image search it, and Yay! the app will link you to a store with that or similar products to buy. <laughs> Completely free app. Fees are raised by Google. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm finally glad they got off up their ass and did like, something. You mean like, thanks, Google. You mean like Series B financing, or why? Well, how are they raising the fees? Um, I'm guessing, like, yeah, it takes you to it takes you to Amazon, but you you give the money to Google. <laughs> They're like a middleman. Here's my app idea. I make no money, and Google makes money on fees. I <laughs> haven't thought this through. <laughs> I'm Eric Schmidt, break. and I love your idea. <laughs> <laughs> this is a really weird sentence break. Uh, yeah, raised by Google. Ads or directly from the shop. Oh, <laughs> for driving <laughs> traffic and possible sale to the product could also be useful for comparison shopping. See a shirt in a shop, looks a little pricey. Take a snap, find out. <laughs> it's really hard. <laughs> find <laughs> out there, there, or someone else is selling it online. 
My fedora is a hypercube. <laughs> uh, I, I wanted to uh, mention uh, that uh, Gay Lux uh, gave fifty dollars uh, and asked the question. Um, so does this mean the Southern Poverty Law Center endorses the F plus? And I will tell you definitively, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> and I know that because they said it explicitly. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I talked to a, I talked to a very nice, a very very nice woman at the Southern Poverty Law Center a couple weeks ago, uh, and we were talking about uh, you know the idea. Uh, and uh, just a couple of you know just boring technical things, and uh, so so I was like, yeah, uh, you know, here's like here's what we do, uh, and here's the site. And she actually looked at the site and went, okay, well, just so you know, the Southern Poverty Law Center does not endorse. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I imagine that canned response comes later in the conversation with other people. Um, I'd like to point out that we also got a, a donation from LV for four dollars and twenty cents that says, "Good one, piss boy." Nice. <laughs> <laughs> we want to read about um for your charity. <laughs> It didn't. Maybe you shouldn't have picked that song. Some <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. Um. Here we go. Um. Let's see. Um. Hmm. What about safe fission reactors? That sounds good. Oh, it's also by Amit. <laughs> great, great. Uh, yeah, John Toast. I want my fission reactors to be safe. Um, oh, yes, I, hello. I just read your name at first. <laughs> I thought it was like, I'm... Pit deep. <laughs> no, this is the guy that had the, the other idea earlier. Yeah, yeah. meet deep. Hello, oh, my yeah. name is... My name is Armpit Pringles Deep. Oh boy! Oh boy! The stock virus is spreading. That's how we're, that's how we're reading yeah. names now, I guess. Mm -hmm. Cultural victory, motherfuckers! <laughs> I have an idea. Safe fission reactors. Good job. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Sending a fission reactor to orbit using the Earth's magnetosphere to protect from harmful radiation in case of failure. Uh, Let's, uh, oh, there's too much radiation for this thing. Let's send it into orbit. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> right. Shit. Your problem now, Carl Sagan. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> Shit. Now the oh. radiation's in space. I don't want this. <laughs> no. Fuck off. Okay, here's how it'll work. So I got right. 4.77 um, money boners, whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The energy will be transported through powerful microwave transmitters that would target a ground-based rectifying antenna that would convert the microwaves back to electricity. <laughs> so it's just going to, like, shoot a concentrated beam into the Earth and, yeah, yeah. you know, mm -hmm. it won't blow it up. Sure, it, it's not... It's not going it to vaporize sounds really one. complicated. <laughs> this is a safer solution to our current nuclear reactors, whilst... A more efficient solution than solar pal power, as the reactor does not require any energy to remain in orbit. Hey, Boots. I, I forget. I, I forget. Um, uh, does it cost a lot of money to send something into space? No. Okay. Nah. No, <laughs> good. All you need is a lot of leverage. <laughs> All you need is love. <laughs> you, can, like, you mean like, simple machines. you actually put it on a lever? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You just yep. use, use simple machines like uh, like pulleys to to create a lever, <laughs> and then just drop something very heavy on the short end of the lever. And then, right, you're, you're fine. Okay. Fine. So Everything's you so great. you need a you need yeah. a pulley that extends into outer space. I think I think there should be something in space that shoots radiation down to Earth for energy. Also, I think solar power is stupid. <laughs> uh hey hey y'all uh would you like to hear about nudie oh, oh yeah, yeah. Right. Oh, right. look i was i was young and i needed the money okay yeah, <laughs> yeah. i need the nudie I, uh, yeah <laughs> so so i don't know i mean i feel like the people on idea dash are just like uh haven't quite understood my kind of idea, you know, I think they're, I think they're cowards. They're cowards about innovation. So here's Nui. Make mm. dreams come true. And I spelled oh. come that way. Of course. You <laughs> Hell yeah. Yeah. Make dreams come true. You can stream your nudes live from anywhere. Let Fuck the yeah. people know how many inches you are rocking down there. <laughs> wink, wink. Hey, welcome to welcome to my eight-inch Twitch stream. 
This is the scream from my dick. Hey, do you know what's a market that is sorely in need of more supply? Dick pics. That's <laughs> right. Not enough dick pics on the it's internet. It's not like you can just get them unsolicited or anything. <laughs> send, send your nudes through a chat and a snap. <laughs> Well, that's a good idea. That's a good idea. I'll call it Chat Snap. I like that. Mm. <laughs> that's Chat going places. <laughs> oh, Portex did not want to draw nudie for some reason. All right. Aww. <laughs> Aww. That's a plan um, break. Uh, I just like to point out this is the last one of these I'm going to read. <laughs> that Argyle <laughs> Funk donated $4.20. And said, good one, Alvy. Hashtag got him. Hashtag blaze it. Hashtag 420. Hashtag nice. Hashtag 69. Hell yeah. Uh, 69 is not a valid hashtag, sir. <laughs> um, uh, Stog. Yes. Um, what's, what, do you want to, uh, what do you want to encourage here? Well, okay. My name is Alex Whitmarsh. All right. And I would like to try to encourage equality more. People aren't exactly equal in the society we live in, including David Cameron. Oh, you're, oh, you're British. Yeah. I don't know how you didn't recognize yes. Doug's British accent. Oh, Oops. yeah, that's what that is. I'm yeah. very, I'm just, very British. I'm just, it takes a while for that kettle to boil. Hey, by the way, we are at $998. Oh, my God. Oh, let's make it happen. $1.57 and Frank out. West has to start playing Red Lake. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, and by the way, I'd like to point out that uh, Portex has switched over to paint because Flash <laughs> Oh, <laughs> shit. Oh, bloody right Bogan. Now. Yay! Oh, oh so This is a great bad. idea, Moose. Oh. <laughs> oh, I'm going. Oh. 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 Wait, wait, wait. Now are you oh, British oh, Andrew Dice oh, Clay? Oh, oh, oh yeah. Oh. All right, all right. I eat little kittens, my love. <laughs> the white stuff, my love. <laughs> Please read. Read <laughs> Albert. I have 3.81 45 degree angles. I like to start a fund that should try and put greedy politicians in their place. Uh, pretty much someone could file a complaint against one, and if enough are received, then the queen would check over the activities. <laughs> ah. Ah. If it happens to be so that they are indeed corrupt, they'd be put in prison for doing so. This be useful to put people like David Cameron in their place. With his dick and a pig? <laughs> oh, we are at one thousand dollars and twelve cents! Hurrah! Yay! Hurrah! Oh shit! Hurrah! Oh, yeah. We have won the war! Hurrah! <laughs> I like the uh, effect on the uh, thing up there. Thank you. When I was building the test, uh, the te when I was building the test for that, uh, the text uh, for the goal was "fuck my face," and so it just throbbed, <laughs> "fuck my face, <laughs> fuck my face." Uh, fuck well, my lemon, face. lemon. Now my question is, why isn't that up there as "fuck my face" the whole stream? <laughs> you failed. Twenty-four hours of fucking my face. <laughs> Please and thanks, game. Oh, Six terrific! Uh, Frank West is going to get that set up. Uh, we are coming to the uh, end here. So that means that, uh, Mr. John Toast, I'm going to give you some options. Ooh. You got one option to close this thing off with. I always love this. Yeah, go for it. <laughs> All right. So uh, you got three options here. Uh, oh, one man. option is becometechceo.com. Option number okay. two is called rent a bro out space. <laughs> wow. Oh, my okay. God. <laughs> wow. That's so good. And option number three is called erecteon. <laughs> <laughs> mm. oh, man. Mysterious. Normally you lead this. Normally you lead this choice, but I. Mm. Yeah, I. Yeah. Um. I gotta know about a bro out space dog. All right, you want to? I gotta find out bro out space. space. Well, I'm. You're gonna tell us about it, but we're not gonna find out a lot. <laughs> <laughs> well, All right. <laughs> My name's Brandon Wang. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Friend Wang, <laughs> and I, I'm give. I want to have the idea of rent out a bro out space. Oh, terrific! Hell yeah! 
ran a space where you got game consoles, unlimited beer slash wings slash pizza, pool tables, etc. <laughs> ran a space where dirty laundry is thrown around everywhere, okay. and that's part of the decor. And I say the same thing again. That that was okay. <laughs> Hey, can I choose again? All right, what do you want to choose? <laughs> I want to know about Erection. All right, Erection it is. Uh, these sort of things are getting scrubbed from Idea Dash, so you can have to read it in the chat there. I heard so, Erection uh, makes good video so, cards. So uh, tell me about Erection, please. Hello. Here's the information about Erection. <laughs> oh. It's in my ear. Oh. It'd be an app for your phone with a simple on slash off icon for your home screen. <laughs> oh no! Whenever uh. you had a boner, you would turn it on. Oh no! When it retreated. <laughs> Fall back, man! <laughs> it's a boner oh. tracker! Congratulations, you invert you've invented Uber for perverts. Okay, no, I I want to know more. This sounds great. So Uber. I think Uber is Uber. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Anyways, when it retreated, switch back to off. Basically, the app would use your phone's GPS to place the location of you and your boner on a world <laughs> local map. Good. Only good. if you allow it. <laughs> You'll be able to see how many people in the world currently have boners. <laughs> You'll also be able to see large clusters of boners. <laughs> in... I mean, yes, uh, yes, side internet, you will be allowed to see hey, large clusters of boners. <laughs> side sidebar: Somebody needs to tell this guy Grinder already exists. You know, somebody beat him to the punch. Anyways, yeah, but that's for gays. Ew. Oh yeah. Hello, it's Ew. Lady boners. Oh god. <laughs> okay, okay, lady boners. You also be, oh. You'll also be able to see large clusters of boners in your area and be like, Whoa, I better get down there. Something's going on that's giving everyone a boner. <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> it's Boner Horizon. Live boners wow. are waiting for your call. <laughs> it's a boner flash event. Which is really hard because they can't pick up the phone because they're penises and they don't have hands. Warning, ugly boners in your area. <laughs> what the fuck? Uh, let's see. Facebook slash Twitter integration would oh, be good, good. possible. Oh, yeah. Hey, Twitter, I have a boner! <laughs> hey, Grandma! Hey, Aunt Betty! Guess what? <laughs> I got a boner! Grandpa wishes he had a boner sometimes, hon. <laughs> you could track friends' boners. So you could shoot them a text like, Congrats on the boner! And collect stats for yourself and others. <laughs> This is this is all a quote and everything now is a quote because it never ended. Forever Collect stats ever. for yourself and others. Uh, E.g. boner frequency, boner duration, prime boner time. You probably also want Bluetooth or NFC to alert you of boners within hundred feet of you. you can so you know how to prime boner time to advertisers all over the world. Yeah, you can call me prime boner. So you can know to knock before walking in a room and getting an eye full of boner. <laughs> uh, F plus, what did we learn from Idea Dash? Burning one. I'm, I'm just imagining what, like, what happens when you walk into a door and somehow just a, a, a dick is in your eyeball. Oh my god, so good. An eye full of boners. Another Tuesday, huh? Uh, yeah, thanks a lot for the document. Uh, thanks thanks so much for uh, all the people who have donated so yeah. far. Yes, thank uh, you. Huge, this, this huge. Above, uh, above our expectations. Yeah, and Hell also yeah. Above our, you, a huge, huge applause for Portex because yeah. 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 did great. Those, uh, so uh, we are also, going to. I, uh, I wanted to point out the boner hotline before we leave. Just to, okay. We're <laughs> ring, fine. ring, 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 ring. Boner, boner phone. phone. Do you like <laughs> jerking off people? It's the boner hotline. Uh, we are going to be back in uh, just a couple minutes uh, with Boots Rain Gear, Lemon, Achilles Healy's, John Toast, uh, Victor Laszlo, and our uh, new artist for the hour is Travis. Uh, so uh, stick around, and we will be back super duper soon. Boners. Boners.